In the summer of 2012, members of the Kennedy family from County Down, Northern Ireland, visited Counties Mayo and Galway in Ireland. They did so because the head of the family, Victor, is a fan of the John Wayne film, The Quiet Man, and he had always wanted to visit the locations where it was shot.
It was Victor who had the idea of going back the following year and shoot a little spoof parody film of The Quiet Man, filming it at a lot of that film's original locations. We wanted to poke fun at the unrealistic portrayal of Ireland or the Orishness which The Quiet Man portrayed in spades and continues on throughout the world, where the general belief is that Ireland is a land of shamrocks Blarney Stones, Leprechauns, Guinness and silver-tongued drunkards playing the fiddle in turf-fired pubs. It gets particularly virulent in and around St Patrick's Day. To that end we hired a very stupid-looking and very punchable leprechaun doll and had as our hero an old drunken lush with a comic accent That's me there. A fine figure of a gentleman. And a touch of reverence in and around churches. Victor was ideal for the part, though I must add that he has been a teetotaler his whole life. After I went back home to Germany, lots of phone calls were made, where ideas for the film were discussed, and eventually a script was written. Our first title for the film was Acting the Lake at White O'Morn. But then we settled on The Quiet Leprechaun. Here's a quick rundown of the plot. In a quiet corner of Ireland, there lives a man called Sean. He shares his humble wee cottage, the White of Morn, with his fiery, red-headed wife, Mary Kate. One day, Sean's friend, Micheline, comes a-visiting, and they reminisce about the time they met a devious leprechaun called Finnegan. He lured them to treachery with a pot of gold. It's a silly tale of greed, passion for the drink, horror of the wife, and song. Sean has some voice on him. All served up with the Guinness drenched scenery of Counties Galway, Mayo, Donegal, and the Ards Peninsula, County Down. Props were built and costumes obtained and we were ready for shooting the following June 2013. The first scene to be shot was with Victor's donkey Jim, but Jim was a touch reluctant. Yeah. <laughs> uh, action. 
Morning to you. It's a fine looking morning. As with most films, The Quiet Leprechaun was shot out of sequence. After shooting the scene with Jim the donkey in Victor's back garden, we made our way to Westport and County Mayo. From this base, we could travel out to Kong Village and surrounding Quiet Man locations, and also shoot a few scenes on nearby Ackle Island. The reason why we wanted to go to Ackle Island was because of a little girl called Kathleen Kilban, who died of tuberculosis in 1947. She was a saintly girl with a deep inspiring faith. A Christian brother who came to know her in the last year of her life wrote down her story. My dad was so affected by her story that he wanted to visit her grave on Ackle and to make a little film about her. Over the next seven years, we made a total of four Irish comedies and six films about Kathleen. Sometimes we would be shooting two films at the same time. I will cover the making of the Kathleen Kilban films in a separate documentary. record the narration for the film and discuss and plan the next day's filming. Well, to be honest, he's playing an old man. An old man would talk like that with breathing. Yeah, I wouldn't worry so much about that because that's part of it. You can report it as, yeah, as part of the fact, you know, it's generally yeah, general. Yeah, that's okay actually. So, what do the ladies do? Do they just stand just staring at me? Just standing, staring at you. Know, standing, being nosy, looking at what's just going on. Just watching what's going on. And cut the thing. Right, that explains. Right, that explains. Mm -hmm. As in, I've just stayed sitting there. Right, now, you've heard our accents, but we haven't heard yours, and we want to hear it now. I'm just going to do my normal voice. I don't do accents. Yeah, I don't do yeah. acting. I'm thinking, I'm thinking getting Harold Edge in to do that line for me. Who are you eating your breakfast? It's about time you did because you've a hard day's work ahead of you, Finnegan. Aye. So eat up your corn flakes. And you get big and strong like me. John Wayne ate his corn flakes in the morning. Aye. And look where he is today. You see the white, the boys with the white coats coming in and taking me away, and they were saying, "Come along now, Mister Kennedy. It's all for your own good." And I'd say, "Can I bring Finnegan with me?" And they'd say, "No, you won't need Finnegan where you're going." Mm -hmm. Next up was filming at Ballyglonan railway station. But first we had to put together the tree and my dad had built. All the while it was threatening rain. You're on Camden camera here, you know. By Jove, it is, it's all happening here today. Isn't it, little Jethro? Why is it when all the work is being done, they all...
Don't look at the camera. I know, but I'm, I'm, I thought you had that cut. You're sleeping. Back and do it again. Yeah. That wasn't oh, fully... Uh, the, the train stopped further on than I thought, but sort of went a bit out of shot, so... No, I thought you said you were just coming up, stop, and that's it. You're sleeping. You just lie there with your eyes closed. And I'll, you get right. Yeah. Back down again. I'm sleeping there yeah. until you say cut. that out now if it's too far. Because it has to be the final position where it's going to finally stop. Yeah. Be ready now. Cut it off. Go. All aboard for Galway! Again. Do you want to type the back? It was disgusting. I thought it was... I thought it was cigarette tobacco you were using. Yeah, but through a pipe, it's disgusting. <laughs> right. Keep going, I'm filming. When the time came to shoot my little cameo, it was raining quite heavily. I only had one line, and why would a man be going to white a morn? It couldn't be that difficult, could it? And why would a man be going to Ennis Free? Sorry. Keep it going, just keep it going. Action. And why would a man be going to Ennis Free? For f sake! Right. And why would a man be going to White Amorn? And why would a man be going to White Amorn? What do you think? One more try because the cut of the thing got in. Right. One, two, three, go. Wait, and why would a man be going to white a morn? Cut. In the end, we reshot this scene back in County Down at my old primary school, which was so old even my mum went to it, where I graciously and with much relief give my line to my sister Jacinta. And sure, why would a man be wanting to go to White a Morn, hmm? Since shooting this scene at the station in 2013, the Ballyglunnan Railway Restoration Project have been very busy and the station's buildings, including the main station house, have been restored and various events and get-togethers are now held there. Filming. Nice Hello. and loud. Oh, say action. Nice Start. and loud. Action. Are you sure you won't come on home with me, Sean? Ah, no. It'll be all right. Well. Sure, she'll she'll kill me anyway. That's wrong. Uh, when I'm saying that, I should have the bedroll. Yeah. No, 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 leave the bedroll. The bedroll's the, the last bedroll. thing you pick get, up. Get the thing. Are you sure you won't? I'm standing here looking, right? I'll turn around, you'll talk to me. Uh, get the pipe going well. What about your other lines? Do you remember them? Yeah. And say it all in one go. Right. No. Come on. Uh, after I say, after I say, no, I'll be all right. No. Say your whole lines and then I'll bring my bed in. Say your whole lot. I'll say the first bit. Wait till you say your second bit. No, no, I won't say anything. Oh, no, I say nothing to the very end. Action. Are you sure you won't come on home with me, Sean? Ah, no. I'll be all right. Sure, she'll kill me anyway. Oh, no.
up. Yeah. Action. Shot! Too quick. No, do it again. Keep going. Cut. Do it again from the start. As we roamed about the countryside, we kept a lookout for dramatic scenery. Then we would jump out of the cars and set up and shoot Victor's character walking from the train station to his home and vice versa. We liked the idea that this man would be travelling through wildly varied and majestic scenery all in the space of a few miles. Very orish. We would also dream up little bits of business on the spot like this one with the boat. in your pocket then come out put the bottles in your pocket and come out you see Jackling shock wait Jack stop don't move Jacqueline, move out. Sophie, run in, look in the window. Look in the window. Don't look at the camera. Look in the window. And run up, run up, the, run up the hill, Sophie. Right, Father, you turn, you walk, and you continue walking up. Oops. <laughs> what do you think? Let's do it again. I want you to walk. Tell me when to cut down the because I'm, right. I'm running out of space here. I want you to do the look up, lick your lips, smile, then walk past the camera. Right. Right. Right, I want you to come back out with a saintly look on your face. Come out. back. Out. Come out. Look saintly. After filming all we could in counties Mayo and Galway, it was time to head to County Donegal. A friend of my dad's had a holiday cottage there, which would be perfect as the White O'Morn. So we packed up all our props, costumes and set decorations and headed north. Open! Open! For pity's f***! Bastard! Ow! Say yeah, Hail Mary. This house is blessed, you know. Put Get my, back out there, you scoundrel. Put my <laughs> bloody head on the door. <laughs> as long as I know your belly, you're already. <laughs> Sleeping bag. Sleeping bag. Sleeping bag!
bloody amateur hour. We need a star. Amateur hour at the White of Morn. Yes, you've got the ball in the fucking thing. <laughs> she scared me. <laughs> Do you remember? See the names. Script. My, my brain is just shut down. You read that out. Then Jesse replies. You wait till she's finished replying. And then. You say, aye, it happened on the day that we had pulled in the inner spree. Alright. Okay. Complete silence bit. You're reading it off the script, so it's not where you're not in shot. It's me now. It's you. Let's wait till I give the word. Action. Do you remember the time I first set eyes on that devious leprechaun? Aye, uh, those were the bad old days when you were on the drink, Sean. Aye, it happened the day the train pulled into Innis Free, and myself and I got off. So, basically, Jesse, how do I get to this seat? No. What seat am I sitting on? I'm gone. You're gone. She's You're in shot. It's my I, shot. Uh, you want to be in every shot, do you? Uh, <laughs> it's my <laughs> shot. <laughs> in my Children. Uh, <laughs> right, Is that the idea? Top. You're going to celebrate because you've got the gold. Aye, we snip it. Right, that's enough. Not too much. Don't want you getting tips it. You set it down, you, you take your time, you can read. Yes. And you set it after a minute, you enjoy it. You enjoy it. You set it down and you take the lid off the gold, correct. And the smile spades, correct. But, but you've got to get the rivet. No, no, you've got to get the. You think maybe. You won't believe until you actually touch it. Bloody kill him if he ever lives that long. I don't like the look of that sky, you know. <laughs> it's got a bloody well rain. It's always raining around here. This is going to be really close because I'm really just want the audio on that. Jethro, can I go home? You'll have to play the guitar a bit louder and sing a bit louder. Can I? I'll do that in the room. Home oh, when I have I've been far away This very day And I'm looking for my day If I don't get my day Then I'll go away And I'll come back After County Donegal, we headed back to County Down, where we shot the finishing touches to the film, an end credits sequence featuring cast and crew. Hit him again. <laughs> that was 
Action. Action. <laughs> yes. Oh God. Oh Jesus. <laughs> Shut up. That's all. <laughs> you do the dance, you better have. <laughs> like a grizzly bear. <laughs> Finnegan, where's Finnegan? Finnegan, bring Finnegan. Uh. Finnegan. <laughs> <laughs> Silly. I headed back to Germany where I edited the film. It took a good three months. Meanwhile, Victor, twiddling his thumbs in County Down, dreamt up a sequel to The Quiet Leprechaun, and also a new film about Kathleen Kilban, both to be filmed in the summer of 2014. So while I was trying to turn shite into gold, with the quiet leprechaun, Victor would be pestering me with countless phone calls and copious amounts of handwritten notes through the post. I released the quiet leprechaun on YouTube and Facebook in the autumn of 2013. Since appearing on YouTube nearly eight years ago, it has had around 2,500 views. Not much so far, but it will be online forever and it is free so why don't you head over there and have a look at it and you never know you might like it